Privately, many police officers think it's time to disband the task force, but they say the top brass hesitates for two reasons. It simply wouldn't look good to the public and especially to the victim's mothers. I wouldn't like that at all. Curtis Walker's mother. I want my son's case to be saw also the other parents' cases. Public Safety Commissioner Lee Brown feels that pressure from many of the families. He always reminds the news media that there are still 26 open cases. We shall continue that ongoing investigation until we're able to charge someone for the 26 cases for which we have not charge someone at this time. Do you mean that the task force will stay intact until you have somebody charged in all 26 cases? That is absolutely correct. Brown then instantly realized the bind he had put himself in. It's common knowledge that many of the cases may never be solved. So Brown quickly backtracked and in we'll essence retracted his statement. Presents itself. We will assess what we do on a daily basis and if any point in time we need to increase or decrease we'll do what the uh, situation dictates. High-ranking officials inside the police department tell me the task force has become a political issue. So no more officers will be removed at least before the mayor's election. And after that? Well, sources inside the task force tell me that will depend on whether Wayne Williams is convicted. If he is not, this could go on indefinitely. From downtown Atlanta, Lynn Harrison, Action News.